Hey everyone, I'm going to talk about how the January NFT reward competition went. Then I'm going to announce the giveaway winner for that competition video that I made. This is a recording I took of my fabric box build just minutes before the competition ended. I ended at rank 58, so I secured top 200 for that ancient ghost card for the water facility, which is great. This build averaged 169 fabric box per hour, which is freaking fantastic. My original goal was actually 150 per hour, and I made the design for it the night before the competition began, which I didn't even have time to practice that design, but it was enough to hit the 150 per hour. And then I improved it even further, and I got close to 170 per hour in the end. And I did that all live, so if you did catch my live streams, you saw how I tweaked my build in order to improve it even further than what I originally planned. This whole build process took about four hours of work from start to finish from the original design, and then like another hour to tweak it. I played in a forest with two river edges, and that with my two legendary water tower NFTs gave me all the passive water that I needed. I rushed flower at the start and worked on the build as much as possible with the money, uh, eventually, I transitioned to wool yarn, and it was more money and more points. Uh, I would actually have been better if I transitioned to selling uniforms right after that, uh, but I didn't think about it. Uh, but of course, I did transition from wool yarn to fabric boxes as soon as I was able to. Uh, from there, I just continued to finish the build and see how I could tweak it, and that was basically it. So yes, this experience was amazing and fun. In total, I did lose four hours and that was due to power outages. Uh, okay, so if any of you were watching uh, part one of my competition live stream, that stream ended abruptly. <laughs> and that's because we got hit with a storm. And then the power went out in my neighborhood for like two hours. Uh, the first hour I was able to play it on my phone and continue to sell fabric boxes but after that i completely lost service for about an hour until the power finally came back on so that explains the first hour loss on the third day for some reason we had a power outage flash uh, basically power went off for a few minutes and then back on and something like that uh, so i didn't realize my computer was turned off because everything else was on by the time i was awake um, so I lost three hours from about that. So four hour total loss, completely okay. I could have lost another 10 hours and still been top 200, no problem. So I wasn't even worried. I did feel kind of bad for that part one of the stream that uh, it just ended before I got to say goodbye, but uh, that's nature interrupting stuff for you. <laughs> Nothing I can do about that. And thankfully, I am okay. There wasn't just the thunderstorm, but also a tornado hit close to our area. Our neighborhood was not hit by the tornado, but a few neighborhoods near us were hit and suffered from some roof damage and broken windows, cut power lines. I heard some people were going for uh, about three days without power, which really sucks. Uh, I did hear FEMA going around helping people and there was also food drives for people who really needed to somewhere to get supplies from. Uh, this is in Texas by the way, I believe this storm continued somewhere else as well but I'm not really sure where it was heading. Um, anyways, if you want to see and learn from my entire competition build experience, check out part 1 and part 2 of my fabric box competition live streams. If you were there, thanks for hanging out. Always more fun to play and chat with others. Um, and I'm always there to answer any questions people may have. Now it's time to select the giveaway winner for my January NFT reward competition video. One lucky winner will win a Death Row Records billboard. This NFT will provide up to two passive water and it can be placed anywhere and doesn't need a road. And it is a reward NFT that qualifies for five town points once earnings go live. In order to be entered in this giveaway, all you had to do was leave a comment on that video with the word play. If you made multiple comments, it only counts one entry. So there was 179 people 
eligible for this giveaway. As before, I will be using CometPickers.com random picker tool to select a winner. This list contains all people eligible for the giveaway. And I will pick on random item and it will choose the winner. Whoever wins this NFT is going to be very happy. Okay, so that's the whole list and let's see who the winner is this time. Okay. Uh, congratulations to Peace Mind. You have won the Death Row Records Billboard NFT. Please contact me on Discord. My username is currently dubsteprod number 0762. You can also tag me in the Galley Games Discord if you'd like to get a hold of me. Uh, make sure you contact me because it's much safer to do so. I will ask you to reply to your own winning comment so that I can verify that you are indeed the giveaway winner. Afterwards, I will ask you for the wallet address that you wish to receive the NFT on. Uh, thanks everyone for participating. I love reading all the comments you all put out there and I appreciate it so much. Uh, and one last shout out that I have right here. Uh, shout out to email account stuff for their amazing comments. It's a poem and they really put some thought into it. Uh, I won't read it out loud, but it's on the screen right now. I thought it was a really amazing comment. I was hoping they could win it, but <laughs> anyways, yeah, shout out to you. That's it for my competition experience and the giveaway. As for the next two competitions, the meta will be Red Steel, a brand new type of steel that will use steel and strawberries. We don't have all the details just yet, but over the next couple of days, we will learn more about it. Uh, yeah, and it might sound a bit weird to have the same meta twice, but there's a twist for the second one. They will introduce a new mechanic with the introduction of the research facility building, uh, which will use up a lot of cash to craft buffs or buildings, from my understanding. Uh, this is a very expensive mechanic, and it's meant to be done later in the game, much after you finish your build. So you'll have to come back and check when you have enough money to buy the next powerful buff for your town. Uh, once this is live in game, I will cover it in more detail. I saw a lot of people use my no NFT fabric box build in some way, and uh, it really seems to have helped out a lot of people. So it's really great to see that, especially the new people. I would appreciate it if you could like this video, please leave a comment on how the competition went for you, you know, whether you used my build, how it helped you, if you improved upon it. <laughs> Consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. I appreciate all your supports and thanks for watching.